This is the uh, TCAP 8th grade math practice test. Uh, question number 23. The heights of five three-year-old children are shown in this graph. Uh, now, as, as you can see, the graph there shows the name of the children and the height. A student claims that Amy is much taller than the other four children. Which statement best explains why this claim is misleading? Now, the student says that Amy, which is this one, is much taller than the rest. And based on the visual, that seems reasonably true. So we're going to look at the answer choices and see why that may not be as true as we think it is. A says there is no comparison to the child's heights of the previous year, which has absolutely nothing to do with the question. She didn't say she's grown so much taller. It just says that she is taller, so it's got nothing to do with anything. B says the heights are recorded in inches and not feet. Doesn't really matter. If it was done in feet, it wouldn't make much difference anyway, so it, that's almost irrelevant. C says the weights of the children are not given. Once again, she's not talking about the kids' density or anything. She's just talking about uh, the height of the kids. So it has to be the last one. It's the only one that makes sense. But let's take a look at it anyway. The scale of the vertical axis is very small. This is the vertical axis because it's going up and down. And if you look at the scale, it is pretty small. Um, the difference, for instance, between the shortest kid at about say it's 36.3 and Amy who's supposed to be so much gigantically taller is you know not even really an inch so because it's a sh the shortest kid Sarah is at about 36.3 and Amy's right at 37.25 so that's less than an inch so she's really not that much taller it's just that the scale is so small that you can't really tell anything or by looking at the graph so the answer to number 23 is D